Good Monday morning. It is sunny today. I'm so happy about this. It really just gives me a spring in my step. I'm in the car starting Monday off as I seem to always start it. Going to the gym. This week I thought I would share with you my workouts because a few people asked. I did a video like this a few months back, maybe even last year. I think it was last summer where I shared my workouts and I asked if you quite like to see more of my workouts within my vlogs. It's hard to film at the gym, but I will do it if you like it. And please leave me comments down below because um, it really helps me to know what you enjoy from my vlogs. Because if you enjoy seeing that side of my life, then I'll definitely share it more because it is integral. I do it every day, mostly, not every day. I do it four, four times a week. And strength training is very important to me. It makes me feel so much better. So I wanted to sort of share a bit more of my like healthy habits, the things that keep me going in this week's video and kind of focus on that because it's something that I'm focusing on in my life. I'm trying to improve, I don't know, I'm trying to like improve my well-being overall and you've probably noticed it because it's been a theme for me recently. I have been really thinking about the supplements that I'm taking, um, my morning routines of just like waking up at, at the time that makes me feel good, getting enough sleep, not having coffee first thing um, and I've spoken a lot about like my anxiety and I just feel like I'm on this like positive trajectory where I'm actually piecing together lots of the things that I lost along the way and it's making me feel really good. So I'm gonna go to the gym, I'll show you my workout. Um, I do all my workouts with an app called Copilot Fitness. I've talked about them loads before because they have been integral to my workout routine I think for maybe a year now um, and it has actually transformed my relationship with the gym because I don't have to think about my workouts anymore. I have a personal trainer in the app, Jill, she's incredible, and it's all planned for me. So if you are unfamiliar with Copilot Fitness, it is a fitness app that has a personal trainer tailored to you. So when you join, you can have a um, conversation, like a consultation with your trainer, what you're after, how often you can work out, where you can work out, because you can do this at home. I do it in the gym and they can tailor a workout program for you, specific and personalized to you, which is incredible because it means that what you're doing is going to be progressively uh, working towards your goals and it's going to meet your needs and it's actually going to be feasible. This is the thing because a lot of workout programs I've tried in the past haven't been feasible for me because they're not personalized to me. So I've been using it for a very long time. It kind of gets rid of that need for motivation because I know that the, mot the motivation is already there. I get messages from Jill saying, <laughs> you can do this, you've got this, keep going with your streak. Like literally this morning it was like, keep going, you've got a streak going and it's really, really motivating because if you're just doing it on your own, I find with me anyway, I, I can come up with excuses or reasons, but something as simple as knowing that I will lose my streak on Copilot Fitness, like if I um, don't do that workout, then it will lose my points, like you get points. It's very, I find that very motivating in my, I guess that's kind of like the way my simple brain <laughs> works. But um, if she's messaged me or if I've got a streak, then I don't want to lose that and I want to, um, be accountable I guess you've got someone there who's giving you the motivation and Jill is so lovely she's just so encouraging she will change anything I need so my goals will change sometimes uh, from I think at one point I wanted to try and do a pull-up and now I'm focusing on just building my strength overall and trying new um, exercises that I've not done before and exercises that can improve certain things so doing things like front squats to improve my posture and just adding in things I've not done before to make it exciting and since using Copa I would actually love to go back and look at my original like um, weight, but I have gained so much strength in a shorter space of time than I ever have with doing other workouts. And every time I go in, I'm just impressed every month how much I'm able to push the weight. And the weights are weights I would never have dreamed of lifting before because I've been doing strength training for a long time, since about 2018. And I feel like for a long time I was just kind of like teetering along and not pushing myself until I had a personal trainer to actually tell me, no, you can push harder, you can do more heavy weights. And um, I'm very like proud of myself for being so strong. It's a very empowering feeling. So I'll show you my workout today. I think it's gonna be a full body. I think Monday and Friday is usually full body. 
and I'll show you my workouts throughout the week and also just other healthy habits that I'm working on and just things I'm doing to make myself feel better. And if you do want to try Copilot Fitness, I'll leave a link down below because you can get a free 14 day trial where you get assigned to a personal trainer and you can give it a go and it's free for 14 days. Give the workout routine a go, see how you like it, see how it fits into your lifestyle and see if it makes a difference for you because I can almost guarantee it will with the motivation and um, having a personalized routine that meets your needs with someone there to help you along. I just feel like it's a no brainer and it just has made such a big difference for me yeah I think you would really really benefit a lot from it exercise is transformative for your well-being like, I am a different person when I'm not exercising it calms me and it just makes me it makes me a better person so I'm excited I'm gonna go to the gym and um, I'll show you what I do today <laughs> gotta start the day off with my AG1 <laughs> of course this keeps me going this is the boost this is the healthy habit switch i used to have coffee now i have this workout done i did try and record like screen record the workout um so you could see it but my phone ran out of space and it tells you if you've got a pr so i've got a um, barbell squat pr which is fabulous um i feel like i used to lift heavier than that but sorry there was a man getting out of his car i didn't want to film him um, but yeah, fabulous workout, loved it, feeling rejuvenated. And I was, don't, I don't normally do this, I normally listen to music, but I have diff different moods some days. And today I just fancied, I'm just on a roll with listening to podcasts. And I was listening to the Zoe Science and Nutrition podcast on Beat Stress with Science, Four Key Techniques for Stress Relief with Dr. Rangan Chatterjee. I also love his podcast too. I think it's called Feel Better, Live More. Um, but just in the podcast, they were talking about how important exercise is for stress relief and um, because you're burning, burning it off, getting it out. Because if you're thinking back in the day, if our stress um, is initiated, it would have been initiated by some sort of threat to then kind of get up and go and run. So um, if you have that stress in your body, it's important to move. So it was very motivating <laughs> while I was exercising. Time to go home though, get in the shower and get going with the Monday because we've got stuff to do. Go check the link out, sign up and let me know if you have done and let me know how your um, your workouts go with your personal trainer because I actually think it will really transform some of your lives if you are in a rut with exercise. Make it like your mission because it's spring, spring equinox has just happened. Now is the time to take care of your well-being and look after yourself because, I don't know, it's easy to let it go. So this could be a little reminder to get to get get going with your exercise your movement and looking after yourself um and you can do it for free for 14 days and see how you feel but i'm gonna go home now and refresh myself it's lunchtime and mondays are always quite a heavy like admin day so i like to have some kind of meal prepped for lunch and this is something that i'd really recommend like I have been, maybe you've been watching along with the vlogs and I've been really trying to cook a lot more from scratch and make more food so that you have leftovers. So I made this soup the other day, it's literally just like a roasted 
broccoli, chickpea, wild garlic soup. I'm pretty sure it was in my what I eat in a week and I froze half of it so that we would have leftovers and it's, I really recommend you do this. If you ever make a soup, double it, freeze half and then if you have a day of the week that you are particularly busy, you've got stuff going on, then you can just whack that out ready so that you don't have to cook but you're having something that's really healthy and really good for you. Sometimes when it comes to like healthy habits or changes, it's about making the time small amounts of time to make it convenient for you later. So overall, it actually doesn't make, it doesn't actually take extra time in the long run. So if you were to go to the shop and buy a pre-bought soup or um, spend money eating out, then the time that that takes, you actually can save in the long run. If you make things from scratch and you can save money, it's better for your health. It's really satisfying, it's relaxing cooking, there's so many good positive reasons. So just, it's just about tweaking things so that you can find the time to do it and being organised, which I know is really difficult to do, but once you get into the habit, like add one bit at a time. I started off just trying to meal plan at the weekends um, and have a structure of when I went to the shops, what shop I got delivered, so I always have Riverford every Tuesday that kind of thing. So I'll show you the food that I get this afternoon. Alex is actually gonna nip out to get it just cause I've got a bit of um, editing to do. So I'll do a little haul with you. So we go to the local natural food shop. I really love shopping locally. That's another thing that I've been doing a lot more recently is shopping locally. So I do this every Monday and uh, I plan my food shop so that I have my Riverford delivery come on Tuesday and then we get everything else from the natural store or if not from Tesco's or Sainsbury's or wherever. And it just makes my life easier because I know I have everything and I'm saving money, I'm saving time, it's better for my health, better for my well-being, and it's just a really nice routine. So take the time to have a meal plan. I often do it on a, on a Sunday night when I'm watching television, when I'm winding down for bed, I don't make it a whole thing. I just have a little look on Pinterest, maybe I take a cookbook out and that's about it. And it just makes my life so much easier. So highly recommend. I've got a lovely healthy lunch made. Alex has made a loaf of bread, so win-win. I'm pretty certain it was in the last vlog, um, so I'll link that, but it's roasted broccoli and kale. And, oh, speaking of which, the kale is in here. Crispy kale to go on top. And it's got a tin of chickpeas in there carrot and I usually make a soup every week this time of year just with the vegetables I've got I'll just look at what I've got and think hmm, what soup do I fancy because I do personally find I prefer to have a lunch like this over a big lunch because if I have a big lunch I get quite sleepy um, I like to have a big dinner and a big breakfast so some kale on top and there's our yummy lunch that I've just spilt everywhere <laughs> This is the first day. Yeah, it's the first time this year I've sat outside to eat because it's sunny today and it feels like spring. It's actually spring in a few days because it's the 18th of March when I'm filming this. I think I'm filming this a little bit ahead of when it goes live, but I feel like I need sunglasses. <laughs> I'm gonna need a hair tie, aren't I? This is actually a dream. Good evening. I'm gonna show you what Alex picked up in the shops. So did you get, do you know what you got from Tesco and what you got from the natural store? Yeah. Tempeh, come over here, help me with this. Roping <laughs> Alex in, because I have no idea. Cause Alex went shopping, he bought more fun food than I usually would. <laughs> the head's cut off. So this is from Tesco? Yeah. So we're making a lovely tempeh salad with that. Alex is having tofu because he's not really a tempeh fan. Oh, for goodness sake. And this one, marinated tofu. That was from the natural store. You just stand up. I'm stood up. No. This is my real height. Stand up. Ow, oh, stop. Ah, oh, yeah. You're an old man. No, it's the right, Tesco. floor is hard. Um, these were the, my burger choice. I asked for some veggie burgers and Alex got Beyond Burgers. Although now I'm looking at these, these look good. They do look good. Those are for Wednesday, I think. Alex got these. These look 
This was a bit, this is a bit rogue, but I've been eyeing these up for months. So this is the Lavi plant-based ham smoked, we'll report back. And then some planted, no additives, chicken, lemon and herb for pizza on Friday. I'm having artichokes and mushrooms on my pizza. Alex picked up some Alpro Greek style plain. If you're after a high protein vegan yogurt, this is a good one, isn't it? Yes. It's actually it's, delicious. You wanted to use up some of the muesli. Yeah. You've got, so I'll do that. Yes, yeah, really, really yummy. Um, he got some hummus. Yes. Some Cathedral City. This is for our vegan pizza on Friday. Cathedral City, this is a lovely one, and then this one melts well. I find putting two different cheeses works quite nicely. That was from the natural store. Okay. Apparently the recipe's changed, oh. and you can tell by the shape. It's more rectangular than you want. People say it's not as good. Rigatoni. We're having this this evening. We were going to have cauliflower burgers, but um, it's a bit late, so we're just going to make my 10-minute mac and cheese from my cookbook, because it's something we pretty much have every week, every other week, every fortnight probably. All right. right. And then some Oatly, always have Oatly every week. This but is yeah, the this natural is store. Beans, beans, beans. Black beans, coconut milk, aduki beans. Butter beans. Butter beans. Butter beans. Oh. Some Why more vegan cheese. Nice. Alex got some Eat Real, sun-dried tomato, sour cream and chive and sea salt. Eat real crisps. I really like these as well. They're so yummy. Um, we've got some choice. oat cakes. Do you know what? I really want to make my own um, crackers, like seeded crackers and Crazy. stuff. Yeah, really easy. Mm. Um, we've got some delicious Leela snacks. I requested these. Did you get the bars? Ah, yes. Yes. Yeah, so we've got the delicious Leela apple and raisin oat bars. Basically, we are completely out of snacks, and these are great when you're just rushing out. And then some callo. Oops. Belgian dark chocolate organic rice cake thins. So this is kind of like a bit more of a expensive shop than we usually do because we're stocking up on things we've run out of. Breakfast. Avocado. Artichokes. We ran Artichokes, out of artichokes and sliced red jalapenos. We've got jalapenos, don't we? I thought we ran out. We ran out. Um, for pizza night. And whenever we buy pizza toppings, it's quite good because then you have them in the fridge for next time. So you've we've got, got those. We've got these from last time. I was going to put them in the pizza as well. Yeah, it's nice to have like a, a an array of like jarred pizza toppings. It makes it easier. I was also going to put that in the mac and cheese. If oh no, you can have it on there. <laughs> no thanks. No, they're all for you. And then um, we also got some wine. This connoisseur organic Cabernet Sauvignon. I love this because it's vegan, carbon neutral, B Corp, organic, and we've bought this wine for quite a while because mm. they label everything easily. I bought it because it had bikes on it like years ago and I've they only... They can't see you. Oh sorry. I only just realised what the name means. Yeah. I can't believe it's taken me that long. To but yeah that. if you're someone who... because I, I don't really pay attention to wine when I'm out in terms of it being vegan but at home I try to because you can buy vegan wines and I like to get organic wines as well because mm. I I find they don't make me feel, I sometimes get a bit, bit of an allergic reaction. I think it's the sulfites in wine. And I find organic wine um, doesn't do that Yeah, you get for sneezy, me. don't you? I do, I get sneezy. And I just find, yeah, organic wine doesn't seem to have that impact as much. So that's mm -hmm. really good. And this is delish. So there's our very bougie, fun, vegan haul. And tomorrow I'll show you Riverford. So let's get everything in the fridge. It's Tuesday morning, good morning, and it's 20 past eight. I'm about to head to the gym. I had a lovely start to the day. I had a cup of tea in bed with my book, and I also journaled, did my five minute journal. That's something I've been doing recently, and it's really achievable and lovely. And just nipped into my office to just grab everything and set everything up to charge, and my morning routines have been like sacred to me recently because they've made such a big difference to my overall well-being. It's incredible how just a few little habit changes first thing can impact the rest of your day and I feel like I've shared my morning routines on the internet for the entire time I've been on the internet 
But I guess something I was missing before is a lot of the time, I think because I was young, I was kind of following what other people said that I should do. Like you should wake up and you should meditate and that you should, you know, exercise first thing. You should get outside in nature. And I had this huge long list of things that I had to do every day. And I did find it quite overwhelming, if I'm being totally honest. If I look back at old morning routine videos, I imagine that I would look at them and think, gosh, that's a lot to do because or it's a level of intensity first thing in the morning. And I guess what I'm trying to say is figure out a morning routine that actually works and you are able to do because if you have a lofty idea of the things that you're going to do in the morning and then you don't end up ever having time to do them, you're probably going to end up feeling quite bad about yourself and that doesn't really make you feel great first thing. So now I, I think in the last few years I have really, or even just in the last year or two, since turning 30 I think, I've really like tried to tune in to what I enjoy or what I like as my little words of wisdom this morning about my morning routine and how it actually makes me feel relaxed it makes me feel happy and then I go to the gym feeling quite relaxed feeling quite happy and because I obviously work for myself I can go a little bit later and it means the gym is not so busy and I've got a little bit of work done so I don't feel uh, the worry about oh my gosh I have so much work to do or I've got like a little bit ticked off and on my mind so I can go to the gym with a clear mind not feeling like I'm rushing and it's a really nice feeling I've got my AG1 as well this is another thing I do every morning I'll drink my AG1 and that kind of makes me feel like yes I am a um I am a organized human being <laughs> I have got my supplement I have had something healthy to start my day that's going to give me energy. I've not had a coffee on an empty stomach. It kind of just makes me feel accomplished. We're on our way and I was just thinking about the fact that I'm on my period this week and how much training around my cycle has made a massive difference for me. So I started my period on Saturday. It's Tuesday now so it's kind of like the tail end of my period but I track my cycle using the Clue app and I try to train around my cycle. So I'll be really careful around my period, the week before, the week leading to it, to not push myself, to give myself um, grace to reduce the weights, uh, lower the reps, you know, stop the workout if I'm not feeling it. Because that's the time when your hormones aren't feeling it. Your hormones don't want to be pushing themselves. You know, your body is, is not in the mood to be really really going for it in the gym or whatever exercise you do so give yourself that week to take it easy and give yourself a break if you don't feel like it I do find that going to the gym helps overall with symptoms around my period so I do continue to go unless I'm you know if unless I'm really not feeling great that day and then obviously when your period ends you're in your follicular phase at that point and your hormones are starting to ramp up and feel great and that's the time that you can push for the PRs, you can go for the heavy strength weights. If you run, you can you know, push for your time, whatever exercise you do, that's the time that you can be like, yes, this week I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna improve, I'm gonna push myself. Um, and then you ovulate and you go into your luteal phase and that's when things kind of calm down a bit again and you're probably gonna feel more tired and less likely to push. So what I do, during my cycle, uh, during the month, is there's just that week post period where that's when I'm pushing it and I'm really going for it. Uh, the rest of the month, I just, you know, strength train as per usual. Don't really uh, push or not push. I basically go off of how I feel that day. And then the week before my period, when I start to feel kind of a bit more relaxed again and a bit more uh, tired, I will take it easy. Sometimes, I go to the gym though and I feel great and I'm like, I'm gonna push for it. But I, I have it in my mind that I know what time of the month I'm at. And if you don't do this, I really recommend it. It transformed my relationship with exercise. It also just naturally gives you an opportunity during the month to not go so intensely and then other times to go intensely. It kind of gives you this plan so that you're not overdoing it because overdoing it also can just burn you out. It's the same as anything. If you, if you overdo exercise, you can burn out with it. So uh, I really, really recommend it. And I, I feel like it's really made a massive difference. I'm able to get PRs. I'm actually getting way stronger 
way quicker. I'm noticing differences um, physically and I just, yeah, I feel like it's making a big difference for my exercise routine. So if you're not already tracking, download the Clue app, download the Flow app, track your period and adjust your training and your exercise routine to it and be in tune with your body and listen to your body and what it needs that day. So with that in mind today, because I'm on my period, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just let myself feel what I feel and if I don't feel it, I'm not gonna push it. I'm not gonna push myself to lift really heavily if I don't feel like that's what I need. So um, we'll see, sometimes it's, it's okay because you know, I'm reaching the end of my period, my hormones might be, you know, on the, on the up. Done. Don't know if it ca caught it on camera, but when I was stretching at the end there, there was like beads of sweat dripping down my head. It's because the temperature's gone up. It's now like 14 degrees. So it's getting hot with these workouts. I need to roll this window. But yeah, that was an amazing workout with um, Copilot Fitness. And I just love that workout. I don't know why. It's one I've been doing every week, but obviously because I'm coming to the sort of end of my period and this is what I mean about tracking is that you it, it gives you a sense and a reason if you've ever had a workout where you're like oh my gosh I just want to go home this was really bad it's likely <laughs> connected to your cycle um so because I'm now entering my follicular phase that will be why I'm feeling better in the gym so I wasn't feeling like really strong or anything, but I was, I just, it was very enjoyable. Um, and that's the main thing. So loved it. I'm gonna go home and shower. Um, also my gym, it's all moved around. They've been renovating and they were building like a new space, a new room. And so they've got loads of new equipment in the new room. And it means that everywhere else is more spacious. I don't know whether they're gonna be like doing anything different in the sort of older part, but if they do, that would be amazing because it seems like they're kind of readjusting the um, the machines and everything, which is really nice. Um, it's always fun when you go to a gym and there's like new things. And I'm looking forward to using the machines in that room because, oh gosh, this roundabout. This is Alex and my new obsession breakfast. Alex just loves it. And I was just chatting to him and I was like, we ought to like pre-make it and freeze it so we have it ready to go for a quick breakfast. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Preparing, getting organized with food to sort of like preparing future Maddie <laughs> with past Maddie and also doing things when you think of them. Sometimes um, I think of something and go, oh yeah, I wanna do that. And then I never do it because all the ingredients out well, actually I did just put some away, but because the ingredients are kind of out, it will take me probably about three minutes to do this. And- Starting now. No. And then future me will be so pleased. And so will Alex, because 
you've got breakfast prepared and it's such a good high protein healthy breakfast that's really easy um the main faff is just getting the ingredients out do you know what you also could do i wouldn't even need to freeze it now i'm thinking it through i could just pre-mix the the dry batter that's what i was saying yeah like, okay, so like you just have the, to measure how much it is. Let me do this on camera, actually. Well, like in the supermarket where you buy a bottle. That's of, what you meant, I see. So, you just add water or something. so I just need to get the scales to see the total of the dry mixtures, how much it weighs. This jar is quite big. I don't know how many portions it would do. Oh, you got it. it? Right, so let's put it in here. Nope. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right, well, let's just... I'll put it in here and we'll see how we get on. Gosh, this is such a mess in the kitchen today. Four portions? Well, I'll measure it and see how I get on. So it's 30 grams of chickpea flour. So let's see how far we get. Woo! Oh my God, did I get that on camera? That is I unbelievable. Look at this. This just sums me up. Just do it now, says Maddie. It will be easy, says Maddie. I won't rush. I can do it in three minutes. I just get excited. Well, you kind of put me under pressure because you set a timer. You can turn the timer off. It wasn't a real timer. Huh? Uh, what, what do you need? I don't know. <laughs> Moral support. So don't do this part because this part is clumsy and silly. So that's 88. So that's, yeah, we could do 120 for sure could fit in there. Maybe even more. 150? That's how many times is that? It's 186 portions. One, two, yeah. This is the Kalanamak. If you don't have this, just use normal salt, but you don't have to use that much salt. It just has adds that eggy flavour. And some pepper. It's not going very well, is it? I'm confused, but maybe that's the lid I was thinking of that I put. Will that fit in there? Only one way to find out. I don't think it's going to. I bet a million pounds it will. You haven't got a million pounds, mate. Yeah, so that's why I find a better. <laughs> what are you going to do? I think if I had a million pounds, I'd be... be um... Oh, time's up. Sorry. That'll have Oh my god, time. actually, we did do it in the time. Right, we so there you... We only spilt half of it. <laughs> so that's six portions. Oh, I wasn't looking at how much it weighs. Oh no, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Usually when you watch me, I edit a lot of that stuff out, but this is me unfiltered. You can't put this in the dishwasher, you know. I am um, very, very, you know, I'm just so quirky. I'm not like the other girls. I'm not like other girls. I'm just so random. Right, anyway, that means I've got my batter. I don't know why I've never thought to do that. So I just add 75 ml of water to my little pancake mix um and i'm gonna put this in the cupboard there you go al Woo! I'll put it here so we don't have to muddle it up yay i'm dressed and ready let's get next door and uh, ignore this we are uh sorting out our office so everything is in here uh yeah i'm gonna go next door and get a lot of editing done I have fallen into the hole of editing. It is nearly three o'clock and I haven't had my lunch. This video, boy, you best go watch it because this, <laughs> this is taking me a long time to edit. I always forget this anytime I do a what I eat in a week. I don't know why I forget this because if I film all of the meals that I eat during a week, of course it's gonna take ages to edit because that's so many clips. It's taking a long time. We had a Rimford delivery and this arrived, let me move you over, this arrived about an hour or so ago, so um, I'll show you what we've got, come on, lighting, I'll show you what you got, um, if you want to get Rimford and get £15, uh, I'll leave a link so you get £15 when you order your first box. So we've got our salad box and this week looks like we've got mixed 
salad in this bag. I love getting a salad box because it means that I always can make um, like a nice fresh salad in bulk for me and Alex to have. We've got a nice big lettuce. <laughs> the water went everywhere. What's in here then? Ooh, got some lovely sweet peppers. These are gonna be delicious. We can save some for our pizza. We've got celery, cucumber, and tomatoes. It's all that lovely fresh fruit and veg. And then one of these is the seasonal, oh yeah. So I changed it to the seasonal fruit and veg box. You can get veg boxes, fruit boxes, and fruit and veg boxes. They even have zero waste boxes. They've got familiar favorite boxes. Um, we always go for the medium or sometimes small, depending on what else I'm buying or I'll just get specific ingredients. We've got more lettuce. This is lamb's lettuce, that's quite good. Purple sprouting broccoli. Mushrooms, always get mushrooms, um, though they've come this time with the delivery. Blueberries, very exciting, very exciting. We're having our windows cleaned, can you see that? No, you can't. Um, bananas, I haven't had bananas in a while, but I thought I would get the fruit and veg box because of having like a snack pre-gym. And then we've got leeks we've got carrots and we've got potatoes and then some delicious looking apples oh my gosh they're huge How yummy so that's the fruit and veg box and then these are the things that i ordered additionally because you can order like specific things on there i always get shiitake mushrooms and i'm now obsessed if you watched the what i eat in a day I shared making it with wild garlic pesto on toast. Oh, honestly, the dreamiest meal. I think I'm gonna do that again at some point, but with um, chickpeas as well. Speaking of which, we've got the Bold Bean Company organic chickpeas. We've got some coriander, stock up on onions and garlic. So I've got red onions, brown onions, garlic, lemons, all the basics. And then we have got four lots of tofu um, just to stock up again. And I think all of this was about 70 pounds. So I actually think that's great value for money because this is a lot of food we've properly stocked up. And um, yeah, it means I'm like ready to go. This should last, I feel this, this will last longer than a week. Before. So the next Riverford delivery will be a smaller one. I probably won't get the seasonal veg box. I feel like it does alternate. I tend to get it like once a fortnight and then the one in between, I just stock up on specific like items um, because we're still going with the, the veg box. Maybe I should change it to a small one, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna put this all away and make some lunch. So I'm meal prepping, not meal prepping. I'm making salad, but I'm making extra. So Alex is having tofu, I'm having tempeh. I'm just gonna mix them. This bowl is a bit excessively large. Could you grab me that bowl down there? So I'll put these in here and we can flavor them and then cook them. And then I'll make a salad and we'll have the salad so that we can just dish it up, probably make three-ish lunches each, probably, I think, I imagine. Yeah. We'll have soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil. A little goes a long way with that. Hot sauce. This is a cool one. It's a smoked sriracha fermented hot sauce, which is another thing I think, Alex, it would be so fun to make ourselves. Oh, look, it's nearly done to make our own hot sauce. A bit of cider vinegar. And then a bit of pepper. So we've got salty for the soy sauce, spicy from the sriracha, some acidity from the cider vinegar. Of course, the pepper's run out. Sweetness from the maple syrup, whoops. And then the sesame oil is just a nice smoky flavor. 
mix that all in and then I'll just bake this in the oven. You can fry it as well, but if you bake it in the oven, you can be lazy. And um, you can also marinate this overnight if you like. And if there's any leftover like dressingy bit at the bottom. Oh, corn flour. Can you grab the corn flour? That's the last thing I'm missing. Corn flour. This just is a really good addition to make your tofu go crispier or your tempeh. Transfer it to a baking tray. And then this can just cook in the oven for around 20, 25 minutes or so. And um, I'll just turn it halfway. Same with the tofu. I think the tempeh maybe won't take so long. So here we go, our mega, mega salad. It's huge. So we'll have this with our lunch and then I'll um, put it in a container for the rest of the week. Oh, no, there's avocados aren't ripe, are they? They've only just been bought. I'm also gonna throw some seeds in there and some nuts. Just these just mixed nuts. Just making a little dressing with some olive oil, some miso some tahini, lemon juice. Oh, I might get some ginger in there as well. There we go, spontaneously showed you my lunch. And then we've got all of this yumminess left over and some extra tofu and tempeh. Good afternoon. I'm on a dog walk and I've tried to film this a couple times, but it was really windy, but it's the first official day of spring. Spring has sprung <laughs> and I'm so happy. I have been on my computer all day that's why I've not vlogged. It's just been a week with lots of editing. Sometimes weeks happen like that where I don't really get much time to get outside or to vlog <laughs> fun projects and I just have to sit at the computer. So I'm getting out to counteract that and today is my rest day so I didn't go to the gym on Wednesday I might do a peloton if I feel like it don't feel like it today um, so we're doing a long dog walk instead and when I get home I'm gonna have like a really nice relaxing restful bath and share with you my kind of like resting routine because I like to do this at the weekend and I really like to do it in the middle of the week, especially on Wednesday. So I'll have a bath with some bath salts where I'm spinning around. Not for dramatic effect, but because Roxy had wrapped herself around me. <laughs> She's very excited in this field. I'll share with you my pamper routine and my relaxation routine, but this is, this is the start of it, getting out in nature. And what I've really noticed recently is all the daisies popping up. Look, all the daisies. Roxy, she is so keen. Come on. Look at 
this big patch here. Oh my gosh, it's spring. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to film with Roxy. Oh, I hope you saw that. Roxy is just, every time I go on a dog walk, I always try and capture these really nice little clips for you of nature. And what you don't see is that at the beginning and end of those clips that I cut is this. <laughs> because I have to obviously hold the camera with one hand and the other hand I have to hold Roxy and she can only stay still. I think usually it's about three seconds, maybe four. She'll stay still for, and then she gets impatient. But did you see that deer? I tried to capture it, but she kept on moving. I don't know if she saw it. I feel like um, he was quite disguised, but often when I walk through these fields, this is a public footpath, but often when I walk through them, where's the exit? Here. Um, I'll see deer. And they've got those lovely, bouncy, white tails. Look at all this. Looks like spring. Oh my gosh. This was barren not long ago. Long ago. home from my walk and that was so lovely it really felt like spring I was saying to Alex the smell of the air outside smells like spring and like the mild temperature combined with a kind of cold feeling on your neck just oh, my hair now is looking like Hermione but I've just got a cool delivery that I want to share with you maybe you watched the vlog where I mentioned I had a consultation with Wild Nutrition Wild Nutrition do this cool thing where you can have a consultation with them so that they can kind of specify with you what your needs are when it comes to supplements so i did that with um one of the lovely ladies at wild nutrition spoke through what my needs were and what i was after and so these are the things that we decided i'd go for so first is their organic protein and superfood powder this is a vegan blend of organic ingredients layered with super greens mushrooms and vitamin b12 and the coolest thing about wild nutrition is that everything is food grown so you can absorb the nutrients better so um this has plant protein super greens adaptogenic mushrooms using only natural and sustainably sourced ingredients carefully blended to respect and support your body's complexity so um it has pea protein and rice protein it doesn't have any sweetness it's got organic coconut sugar it's got a mushroom blend and then it's got green powders in there and it's got 16 grams of protein per 25 grams. So that's really cool. And she mentioned about just trying different protein powders. So you've got variety because just like with food, if you're having a protein powder every day, having different ones is quite good because then you can have different sources of protein. So I'm excited to try that. That's a berry flavor. We also went for their vitamin B12 plus. I think that the protein powder has B12 in it as well. Yes, it does. Um, so B12 is not something you have to take every day because most B12 supplements are very high amounts. So this um, is 500 micrograms for one capsule. So that's a really high dosage and it's about 20,000% of your nutrient reference value. Yeah, so B12 usually supplements, they are quite high value. So it's the sort of thing that you don't need to take it every day, but you just need to take it sometimes. I do eat a lot of marmite, I have a lot of nutritional yeast, I have a lot of um, milks that are fortified. So it's not something I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to take my B12 every day. It's just something I will take if I haven't been having nutritional yeast or um, marmite or protein powders regularly. I'll take this um, for that. And then we spoke about my periods, things like PMS, and potentially I'm worrying and wondering if I have PMDD because my PMS is kind of bad sometimes and she recommended to take this iron supplement blended with vitamin c lots of women obviously experience heavier periods or pms and so this can help support my periods because 
if you're having a period then obviously it's going to impact your iron levels so i'm interested to see how that impacts me and then we spoke about my stress and anxiety so she recommended ashwagandha plus for all so this is um something i already have i had a drink literally yesterday with um, frothy oat milk and ashwagandha powder. Ashwagandha, if you didn't know, it's like Indian ginseng, and it's really good for anxiety, mood, stress, all those kind of good stuff, and it can really, really help to relax you. So I'm gonna be taking this, especially around my period and the time leading up to my period, and then the iron while I'm on my period. I'm gonna report back and tell you how it impacts me. I think that you probably noticed I've been thinking a lot more about my health recently, and that's because I'm coming into this period of just wanting to take care of myself. And I think lots of the issues I had been experiencing before with mental health and um, even physical things was because I maybe wasn't taking the time. If you're depressed and you're anxious, you don't really take the time to think about your well-being as much. So I feel like I'm empowering myself now to notice the things that are going on with me and supporting myself with things like wild nutrition. Um, I'm taking my AG1 every day. I'm going to the gym. I'm getting outside in nature. I'm having routine and I, I feel like it's in a very positive way. It's not in a I have to do this way, um, no pressure way. It's just a it's just a supportive thing that I'm doing for myself and I am noticing a big difference in my overall well-being. So I'm sharing that with you because hopefully some of you can maybe think about these things too and it can improve your lifestyle. Things like I'm really trying to cook more from scratch as well and reduce the amount of ultra processed food I'm having. I'm not cutting out completely of course because I love fun food, as you know, um, but it's just being mindful because after I listened to the book Ultra Processed People, it just get, got me thinking that maybe I had kind of lost my way a little bit with the foods that I was eating regularly and they weren't making me feel good and I was kind of ignoring it. I was like maybe having a quick lunch and then feeling quite lethargic and not great the next day or eating later on, all these sorts of things. You know, you just forget and you don't realise, oh, actually maybe that's because of this thing that I've been doing. And yeah, I've just been more mindful of it and it's actually having a positive impact. So this is kind of an extra addition that I'm excited for. So watch this space, I will report back to you. Now I'm gonna go and have a bath and um, a little pamper. So I plan on doing a bath. I'm going to use, um, I've got this new hair removal device. So I'm gonna do that. And also my LED mask and just, I just wanna do all of the stuff and feel properly pampered today because I think that that's a nice thing to do on a Wednesday on hump day. So let's go upstairs and run this bath. And I'm gonna make myself a lovely cup of tea too. morning trying to find a place to show you my outfit is impossible I think the next thing that we need to do is <laughs> Alex and I really need to sit down and make a plan with renovations I'm gonna show you my outfit and my makeup because I'm doing a shoot today I went to the gym this morning I did upper body I couldn't capture all of it in the vlog because it was quite busy I, so I captured some of it but um the gist was there hopefully <laughs> And it was actually a really good workout. I do love upper body day. I saw a TikTok the other day that was like, girls um, viewing upper body day as their rest day. And I was like, I really feel that. Like upper body day for me, I feel like is a rest day because I do not get anywhere near as sweaty. But today we are doing a shoot for uh, Connoisseur. It's a wine brand. 
Uh, they're very cool because they are a B Corp, they're sustainable, they are, have an organic range of wines, they're vegan. So if you are trying to, you know, have vegan alcohol at home or wine at home, check out Connoisseur and their wines are delicious. Me and Alex have been buying them for a long time because of the fact they're so clearly labelled and some brands don't label everything but they do and I've always looked out, looked out for that sort of thing. So we're nipping to St Ives. So um, my hair is looking very big. I'm gonna brush the ends a little bit. It's kind of like day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four, day four for my hair, which I feel like day three is always my best hair day. Day four, it starts to get quite frizzy. I've got red lipstick on. This is, I think, Courage from Bare Minerals. And this dress I've shown you before, can you see me or is that dressing table mirror in the way? It's it's a vintage dress, I got it in Penzance and it's got a really massive skirt. I'll show you downstairs, but I can spin and it's a massive skirt. I did put a belt around it, but I didn't like the vibe. And then I'm just gonna wear this cardigan over my shoulders, which just reminds me of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang for some reason, this outfit. So I'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna shoot a little bit at home and then head out and I'll take you along with us. No, I'm walking weird, just stay recording. <laughs> I flicked my head too much from the time. I can see your cocks. No, you can't. <laughs> right, do it again. Part one of the shoot is done, very easy. And I've got a meeting at one. Alex is um, gonna come with me so he can get the shots, but I'm gonna edit until my meeting and then we'll go after that because it's actually supposed to be sunnier later. I'm loving the red lip. I used to pretty much wear a red lip every day at uni, didn't I, Al? Well, nights out. Nights out, yeah. My look was a winged eye and a red lip. And I'm gonna start doing this more because of that whole colour theory thing. Lots of you tell me that I'm a winter. I actually think, I watched Gabriella's video where she did a colour analysis and it's made me, I 100% I want to go and do this professionally and film it because I loved watching her video and finding out what her colour season was. And I really want to find out because I think I'm a winter, but the issue is, I really need to put some powder on. <laughs> the issue is like, I have hazel eyes and I have freckles and my hair isn't actually naturally quite this dark. It's uh, dark brown, but it has like a warm undertone to it. My dad had auburn hair um, and my auntie had red hair. She has red hair. So my hair used to have like bits of red in it when it was, it's dark brown, but was red. Whereas this hair, I color it now, is very, very dark brown. So I just wonder, obviously right now looking at this, I'm like looking at the viewfinder, I'm like, yeah, no, the, the pink blush and the red lip and the white, that does work. It does fit the kind of winter theme, but I want to know what kind of winter I am and also whether, or whether I'm autumn. I know the comments are gonna be like, no, you're not autumn because I think that any color season, you can have any color eye. So my eyes are hazel, so they're brown green, essentially, so it depends on the lighting. Uh, they probably look quite brown now, I think. And yeah, I don't know, but yeah, looking at this with the red lip, it does make me think I'm a winter because this does like brighten my face and make me look, I've probably been talking that whole time with um, lipstick on my teeth. But yeah, that's probably why I did it for so long because it just fit the vibe. Or does it wash me out? Is it too intense for my facial features? I don't know. What season do you think I am? And I'm gonna book a color season analysis with someone. Or if you are someone who does color analysis in the UK, preferably the South, leave a comment. Or if you know someone because we could collab and I could do this because that's, yeah. I'm excited to see <laughs> officially. I think I, what is it? It's deep winter, true winter or bright winter. I reckon I'm probably a true winter. That's probably my instinct. Just had a catch up call with Jill, my personal trainer. She is so lovely. She's so sweet and supportive. Basically you can have a catch up call, like a check-in call with your personal trainer on Copilot when you're assigned to your personal trainer. So you have like different cycles of workouts. I've just finished my five week, I think it's, 
five week or week five cycle of workouts. So you change, basically they change up your workout um, frequently so that it keeps it interesting. So I've been doing this particular workout apparently for five weeks, which has flown by. And she just asked me about my new goals um, how I'm finding things, if there's anything I wanted to add or change. So we spoke about adding different exercises in that I haven't done before um, and just changing up and switching up. But I'm honestly really enjoying it. I think Jill has nailed it based on what I spoke to her about in the beginning. Um, but it's so nice to have someone be that supportive because she's like, you know, you're smashing it with the consistency and you know it's it's all going really well like she's she's there she like send me little messages like you've got this keep going so impressed by like here you go like that's how it's done how are you enjoying the workouts way to go 21 day streak let's go um your consistency heart heart emoji you've been super consistent it's just very nice it's the same as having someone in person or like a friend sort of support you to message you to say you're doing well and it boosts my um it boosts my mood and sometimes when I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered, I'll have a little look on there and she'll have messaged and I think, oh, go on, you know, she's there watching and she's motivating me. So it's very nice and she's just the sweetest. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up work. We're gonna head out to the beach and fingers crossed for sun. was a really bad vlogger took my vlogging camera didn't vlog a thing at the beach but maybe I showed you some cute little clips of what we got up to because it was very cute and we were doing it obviously for a brand but when we were doing it we said this is lovely we should do this more um we went for a drink afterwards to celebrate finishing the shoot and I think it went really well we're home now I'm gonna make dinner and I'll see you tomorrow because um I'm really tired. That was like tiring. I don't know why. It always does always does this for me. I've said this before, like shoots make me mentally drained. I think it's sometimes you think of like lots of different things. It's like I could go to the gym and you know edit all day and paint all day or garden all day and I'll feel like tired, but it's like very different. When I do a shoot, I feel like pooped. <laughs> so we're gonna have some dinner. I'm having um we're having burgers and chips. We were gonna do smashed potatoes with wild garlic pesto, but I don't have any wild garlic. I didn't go out today. Alex is having a Beyond, and I'm having these veggie burgers. So that's our dinner. See you in the morning. This jumper is becoming such a point of conversation. I've had people say to me that they can send me more of these, or they can send me, um, different football teams someone says like about texas football and sport in america just confuses me so i don't know what what the teams are or what they're called or anything but someone was like i can't have you wearing an ohio state uh jumper <laughs> i need to send you this one
probably equivalent to if you're in the UK, my dad's a Tottenham Spurs supporter, Tottenham Hotspur. And it would be like if I was wearing an Arsenal jumper um, because they're enemies. So I know that uh, there'll be enemies in America between football teams. But um, I literally just got this in a vintage shop. I have no affiliation or support of this team. Though I'm sure Ohio is a lovely place and I'm sure this football team is it even a football team. It's a university. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. But I'm assuming the university has a football team. Is that how it works? I have no idea. You're probably laughing at me right now. Anyway, <laughs> it's Friday, last day of the week. I'm probably just going to share my morning, my workout, because this video is like themed on that, and then end the vlog. So I think I've chatted a lot and it's been a long video because I've actually done Monday to Friday. I don't know if you've noticed with the weekly vlogs, it's actually taken me till now to get it to be a full week. Though I'm not putting pressure on it because sometimes the reason it's not is just simply because I talk too much, so I can't make the video two hours long, so I split it up. Let me just check one thing. Today is Friday and I like Fridays to very much kind of be similar to Mondays in that I sit at my computer and get lots of things ticked off. I'm gonna go to the gym now, it's full body and I'm excited, lovely week. I'm excited next week for the new routine. Just a reminder, if you want to check Copilot out, I'll leave it linked below so you can get your 14 day free trial with a personal trainer. I really, really recommend it. It is the spring equinox and some people like to treat this as their new year because it's much more, I don't know, it feels much more applicable because the days are getting sunnier. It's more of a time that nature comes to life. So if you're trying to bring something new, a habit that's going to make you feel good and improve your day to day, improve your mental health. Like honestly, that's the main reason I go to the gym for my mental health. It is the thing that makes the biggest difference. For me consistently i've always known that so um sign up give it a go and you can just see if it works for you and see if you get along with the the program if it's something you've been wanting to do and it does not have to be the gym you can do workouts at home and they can tailor it to what you want so it's very flexible in that regard which i love because i know in the future there will be times when it will be preferable to me for me to work out at home so i'm gonna go i'll show you the last workout of the week and then i'll sign off so i can get working on my to-do list and someone is actually about to come for something from Facebook Marketplace that we're selling, we're selling a monitor. So fingers crossed they show up.